and welcome to Vance Podcast. I'm your host and creator, Van. Please allow me to introduce my lovely co-host, Mahogany. Hey guys, my name is Mahogany. What's up? We are two cannabis connoisseurs, constantly looking for the best pain relief, collective mind-supporting cannabis friends and family in the tri-state area. And until we go national this year, New Jersey for the time being, we are currently recording live on the wonderful peninsula of Jersey City, Hoboken, and Bayonne. We would be doing this live on Instagram, except our front office is absolutely frigid and we do not have a heating system in there. So, fair weather changes. It is absolutely it's freezing outside. I just wanted to introduce ourselves in 2024, introduce our podcast to you, introduce a better way, talk and be open about cannabis without the stigmas attached by the media, the hive mindset, especially for the ones that are leaning towards cannabis in their legal state, leaving the booze behind after years of waiting for the laws to change and definitely going to hear some bubbling and crispy sounds in the background while we enjoy recording the podcast for you amazing aunts and friends and amazing canna parents and all of you out there in the wonderful 420 space hashtag Hashtag all the hashtags (laughs) um we just want to provide insight in a non-judgmental pattern introduce new guests on the bi-weekly show with uh, weekly call-ins questions, suggestions, as well as guest interviews from professionals in the industry, (laughs) relationships uh, we have cultivated, and just having fun talking about this magical medicine that we love in the Garden State. I agree. (laughs) Um, We want to provide a safe space for everyone in the best of our abilities, especially when the big social networks are cracking down on cannabis content, even though it's legal at state levels and federally quote unquote outlawed. Um, First question coming up while we were cultivating a lot of questions over last year. Thank you for everyone for being patient. But what are some of the stigmas that you have faced mahogany as a BI POC cannabis connoisseur um, all of the above. Uh, <laughs> I would say this this is like I said um, if you have a scroll I could I could tell you pretty much 30% of it but I'll take out some of the top that probably would resonate with a lot of people that are listening one um, a BIPOC uh, can of mom being a mom uh, especially a person of color uh, definitely puts a stigma out already because of race and the history with that. Um, and even though it's just now legal, changing the mindset of others who do not vibe um, for their own personal reasons, you'll hear that too. He, he just took a big hit from the vape. You know how the vape hits you. It hits you hard. It's to the point. It's good. Yep. stigma of that is all the you know just essentially what the system always holds so I'm trying to um, connect with people who deal with that on a daily basis and of course being BIPOC period um, within our own community of color always um, comes with its own challenges um, and stigma is related to what will probably most likely address tradition and um, religious institutions, etc. Love for everyone and their really beliefs, but you know, sometimes some of the stigmas and some of the uh, toxic versions of what comes out of that to hold on to cultural preferences um, really affect us who are not on that same level, not on that level for that, that path anymore. Uh, and then lastly, just again, a woman. Um, that's again the, the, uh, the biggest, one of the biggest part, that it, you know, being a woman also has me in a space where, you know, even in the cannabis industry, uh, we're looked at uh, still sexualized as kind of like this token uh, can of cuties, as you see on Reddits, and can of this and can of that, as opposed to be taken as legitimate as those male counterparts, you know. So that's something of a stigma, too. So, so sum all that up. Ta-da. 
Yeah, that was insane. Thank you for that. That was my amazing co-host. And and with the narratives, with all of the deep layers, um, we met last year at a Canna event in the wonderful legal state of New Jersey. But what was the biggest change for you before we met since everything did go legal in New Jersey? What was it like? I came from a completely outlawed state down in Austin and it was very hard at times to get the best of the best but what was it like for you coming to a legal state and seeing the complete exponential change year uh, pretty much month after month after we met at that event Holy crap. Um, I would say <laughs> in yeah. fact yeah that definitely um you just don't have to hide it anymore the convenience of it it's the convenience of it it's the fact that you don't have to travel to a whole i used to travel to massachusetts which it's like a wonderland over there if you ever get a chance to go over to um what's the place i always talk about babe um in massachusetts southampton no um starts with a b i think it is oh it's gonna kick my ass i can't remember oh yeah um brooklawn Mm-mm. Brooklyn? Uh, I don't know. Something. Okay, if you know what I'm talking about, just Yeah, it we're going to have a number for you guys to it's text um, us and where wellness all those theory things. Is. It's where wellness, shout out to wellness theory. Um, you used to travel all the way over there just to get the good stuff. So, you know, it, it, it was a scary thing going back and forth because you know all the legalities of that. You could just easily get your ass at some shit. I mean, they're doing what they need to do, but for us, it's like, you know, we take on, and especially again, people of color. You know, we're targeted. You know what I mean? Going from one state, don't matter if it's a blue or red state. If they don't want your neighborhood, it doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? So you have to think about all the the, the nuances of all of that. So it's a relief to know that, oh, now I could go call somebody up. I can go ahead and have that joint delivered. I can go to a dispensary in any part of the state the state and say hey listen I got this and it's and it's not necessarily a medical in the terms of how it's defined across the papers as something of across the aspirin but if a recreationally person such as myself because that's the only term they deem this as and I didn't go to the doctor to get it figured out um for me it's it's something that allows me to fully be able to and be in tune with myself and in tune with my own universal beliefs and be able to be the best version of myself for myself and humanity. So it's it's a relief. It's an absolute relief because the convenience itself. I don't have to worry about people busting in the home. I agree. Which is why today's Vans podcast is sponsored by Highly Elevated Glass Gallery. Hey. Highly Elevated Glass Gallery is New Jersey's headiest smoke shop. Putting New Jersey on the map with upscale functional art. For real. Highly Elevated is about to open a store any week now. Coming to North Plainfield, New Jersey, 916 on US 22. Heavy online and community presence. I've been following them for well over two, three. It, it's, been a, it's been a minute. Um, they've worked with THC Museum NYC, Harmony Dispensary, Work and Roll NYC, Certs. Golden State Banana, Ganja Guru, just to name a few. They provide a smoking experience called the Elevation Bar, which is their take on a dab bar. They do weddings, private events, birthday parties, tailgates, store openings, and if you were at the 420 Expo, like me and Mahogany were this year, you would have saw them right at the smoking section with the sickest glass and amazing tapestries, everything that you need for just a really, really heady space. Just to concentrate, get your meditation on, whatever you need. Remember Highly Elevated Glass, highlyelevatedglass.com, as well as Instagram, at Highly Elevated Glass. Back to the show. Uh, What we'd love to see in the future is a lot of correspondence with our our listeners, our viewers, when we start going on Instagram Live. Um, Feel free to text us or shoot us questions at 347 871 Seven eight zero eight. Once again, three four seven eight seven one seven eight zero eight. We're also on Threads, Vance Podcast. We're on Reddit, Vance Podcast, and we'll just be posting everything 
on YouTube for the time being until we get um, a radio station going for ourselves based out of uh, the tri-state area just to get all the 420 ants all connected. We're Vance Podcast, and what do you feel people need more than anything else from this industry right now? Like, we're right at the beginning of the year. We're at this precipice. What do you feel? You know, we go to these we go to these events together. We go we pop up at the Jersey City. Uh, Green scenes. All of them, all of them, like the dispensaries. Yeah. Um, we're not gonna name them because they're not sponsoring today's podcast. But <laughs> you've seen us on on reels and you've seen us on Instagram at them. No and offense. Yeah, you know, no offense. If you guys want to sponsor the, if you guys want to sponsor the podcast, you know how to reach us. But um, we're happy to answer all of your 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 Canna and Ant friendly questions, comments, concerns. We just want to vibe with you guys out there. Um, there really isn't a presence for uh, BIPOC 420, and we noticed that, and we want to go ahead and break those stigmas down, as well as for parents that want some answers, single parents, single single dads, single moms, all of the above. Um, Maybe, maybe your dog is freaking out and you don't know what's going on and the doctors don't know. Maybe there's, maybe there's someone in our network of people that you could talk to and mm. recommend something in uh, the world of CBD and hemp treats, mm. you know. So we yeah. also reach out to people in that realm and... We got a beautiful little dog. <laughs> Name... Uh, Names. Yep. Oh my goodness. Too many kids. That's many correct. Kids. Uh, shout out to the can of parents. Who shout out to the can of parents <laughs> that that go by oldest child, middle child, youngest child, and puppy dog child. Right. Doggo. You, you, come doggo over here. child. You know you always just call them you. You. you come over here. Why is the Wi-Fi not uh, you working? You know what? What's, what? What are you doing? And that's that's all you do. And thank God, thank goodness for the can. Canna, because if he didn't, he we could not there. without the canna, the we canna butters. So much more. Correct. Oh my God. It's a it's a wonderful medicine. <laughs> it's, it's that great. uh it provides relief in so many ways that other things do not. Right, and it gives you a wonderful kid point of view. I always saw that as a canna parent. I know you canna moms and and canna dads and canna days and canna all in, in between. My love for all of y'all, um, parents understand that when you kind of got to tap into the weed a little bit you find yourself tapping into a little kitty version of yourself so you can relate to when they get a little silly and foolish you know what I mean you kind of go ooh, ooh, a little google with them and giggle around and be foolish with them and of course you know they you know probably make fun of you for even trying but they just enjoy the moment and you kind of like look back and go oh I need that moment like Van over here is always doing fun silly stuff like that and you know he's he could talk about it as a step parent because you know he's on step parent step parent journey now. So for the step parent Canada's over there, you know you want to switch your questions over to him about some stuff. Oh, he'll he'll tell you his journey. Please do send all the questions my way. Let's let's go on this journey together. Mm-hmm. Let's be ourselves and let's laugh at each other because none of us are perfect and mm-hmm. we're all humans just trying to figure it out. Luckily, we have this amazing medicine on this planet. It's natural. It's organic. There's so many ways that you can use it, but also abuse it as well. So we want to provide a a safe space to discuss and uh, provide insight as, as well as foresight. And I hear my dog barking way in the back. So I'm just going to go over the format <laughs> really quickly for all of our listeners. Um, we'll, we'll typically be bi-weekly, and um, since this is just our first show, we didn't have anybody call in, um, but we do have a schedule of people that we want to speak with, um, which we'll be doing on the second of the podcast. So there'll be two of them on the first and the 15th. Um, if you guys want to just, you know, 
lock in and hit the little bell and everything else, you can look forward to that. They'll range from 15 minutes to 30 minutes to, you know, if we have guests in-house at the studio with video. Exactly. So, you know, exactly. Uh, a lot of different topics. But uh, we want to keep it light and airy because we know you guys got a very short attention span when when, in, when enjoying the cannabis like I do. And that was just a joke. It was terrible. I know. I haven't had enough coffee. It's freezing outside. It is. It is. So, uh, shout out to... Highly Elevated Glass Gallery, New Jersey's headiest smoke shop, putting New Jersey on the map with upscale functional art. We want to give them a huge shout out. Thank you for the amazing gear. I wish we were recording live so we could show you all the amazing gear. I got a beautiful pinup t-shirt on. You might have saw it on my reels. I wish you didn't miss it. Uh, We're going to be going live in North Plainfield. Shout out to Highly Elevated Glass Gallery.com. Physical location coming to 916 US 22, North Plainfield, New Jersey. This is Van. Mahogany. And this is Van's podcast. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you soon. Take care.